dearest daughter, as I write this letter to you on the eve of your 18th birthday, my heart overflows with love and pride for the extraordinary woman you have become. It seems like just yesterday you were a little girl full of dreams. How time flies. As you don the crown and step into your role as queen, I want to acknowledge the immense weight of responsibility that now rests upon your shoulders. The task of leading a nation, making difficult decisions, and representing our family's legacy is not an easy one. But I have full confidence in your ability to rise to the occasion. I know that you are aware of the challenges that lie ahead and the sacrifices that will be necessary to fulfill your duties. But remember, my dear, that true leadership comes from the heart. It is your compassion, empathy, and understanding that makes me confident you can make a lasting impact on the lives of the people you will serve. My daughter, as you embark on this new chapter of your life, I want you to remember that you are not alone. You have the wisdom and guidance of those who came before you, and you have the love and support of those who stand beside you. Your father, Cedric, Caspian, your friends and our family. Lean on them, seek their advice, and never forget that you are capable of greatness. With all my love and admiration, Mother, Welcome to the season finale of season two of the Royal Family. Today's episode is going to be a journey, so let's go ahead and get started. We are starting today's episode out at the main Windenburg Palace because there's one thing I want to do before we start Alice May's coronation. So it is the morning of her coronation. We are going to have the coronation events, and then we are going to have the Royal Coronation Ball back at the Henry palace and we're gonna have a lot going on during that so first things first now I am going to have this all renovated for season three what we're going to do is have a portrait painted of Alice May because you know she is queen now and I have had portraits from the very beginning like these are literally the original sims these are pictures of the original sims I definitely want to have in season three when things are renovated I'm going to have more official looking portraits like the one we have of Amira here but I will not forget my roots this is how the portrait started and I will continue it until my last breath <laughs> how long has this one been missing who is that that is King Henry the second King Cal that's King Henry the third that's who we're focusing on as the main character in the Royal Regency series why is his missing did he like come out of his portrait is it alive now? Is there some sort of like space-time continuum? I don't know what happened, but I'm pretty sure I have an old version of the palace so I could just like grab it from there and put it back because what the heck? Also, since we are running out of wall space here, a lot having to do with the fact that like there's three here, um, how we had Henry, Ava, and Alice, but I'm gonna put Alice Mays in the center 
between her parents for now, and I have invited over Abraham, of course, our royal portrait painter. Obviously, it's like right before her coronation. The portrait would probably be like later, but wanted to do this before the coronation because it, it, it feels a bit like a rite of passage in a sense. So it's been like eight-ish, seven-ish months since the last episode. So ha some time has passed before this coronation has started. I am after this video, after the season finale, there's gonna be a little bit of a break before the season three of Royal Family starts back up. It's gonna be a couple months, I would say, maybe like three, four-ish months, something like that, just so I can get everything situated for season three. And at that point, I've decided it's going to be about six years that have passed. So there's going to be a lot that have happened. But, oh, you are just in your sweats. So that's okay. You're family. You know, that that's fine. Let me pose Alice May first. I still can't believe when I used to do this, I used to just like stand and wait for them to pose. Is Amira wearing this in her portrait? I think she's wearing it in one of the family pictures, but is she wearing it in... Oh, you, can, you can't even see what she's wearing in her portrait. She's wearing it in this portrait. So this was Amira's dress. The necklace has been passed down to Alice May too. It was her grandmother Alice's and Amira used to wear it a lot and now it's hers. I also, I think I have her like for special events wearing her mother's necklace, but for the most part, she wears that gold locket that Caspian gave her on her 18th birthday. Okay, it's literally just gonna be the top. So we're not even gonna see her like random hand at the bottom there. So let me have Abraham, we're going to do, oh, this it's been so long. Paint from reference, large painting from reference. Okay, there we go. Oh, hers is a lot further than the others were. Should I make it close? I mean, I don't, uh, I like that it's kind of far away. Maybe, maybe another time I'll take a closer up one. We'll, we'll just do this one for now. Oh my God, she's so grown up. She's queen now, this is insane. Okay, while they're painting, I, uh, so important information for you guys to look out for, for season three. So before season three comes out, I'm going to do uh, like things you should know before season three starts. I did that for season two. Uh, a lot of people ask why there's not a hundred episodes in season two. I may, I think I said that in the past that I was planning on having a hundred episodes, but then I realized there doesn't need to be a hundred episodes. Like, what's the point? Like, what's the point of just like trying to fill in space? Like, like have a bunch of fillers. I just feel like that's not any fun. At oh, that paintings looking great. Good job, Abraham. So I just decided to do the amount that there is. Honestly, with the amount of like half episodes there are, it's probably almost a hundred anyway. There's more than like the actual number of episodes uh, because of like the half episodes that are machinimas and all that stuff. Another thing, I do plan to do a season two recap video. It's gonna include a lot of stuff. I think that's probably gonna come out until after season two though, because when I did the season one recap video, it was while we were already doing season two. But at that point, I kind of knew what exactly people should know story-wise. Like I could pick out some of the important parts. I don't want to miss anything. So that'll probably come out after season three has already started. And then also after this video comes out in about a week or so, I will be posting a Machinima, a season three teaser. So you guys know what to expect in season three. So do not miss that. I am so excited for you guys to see it. Oh my God, okay, it's done. That looks Beautiful. Oh my god, that looks gorgeous. Frame canvas name. That is okay. I was, that is like one of the prettiest port. Why is it like the comp? I think it's because we got to see so much of her dress and also the background looks really pretty. Queen Alice May. All right, so we're gonna put this on the wall. I'm gonna take an official portrait, like the the picture that we have of Amira and... Oh, okay, yeah, that is like way smaller than the rest. I mean, that's okay. Honestly, I kind of prefer it that way, I think. She looks so tiny compared to the rest of them. The rest are so close, but like that looks like a portrait, you know? I guess the rest of them, yeah, because they're so close, it... it 
looks different. But then we didn't even have crowns until like Ava. Like Alice doesn't even have a crown on, but Henry does. Like look at her picture in between Jabari and Amira. Ugh. Oh, by the way, I didn't realize this until today. I, I think I missed this in the last episode, but this portrait is here of Henry, Alice, and Amira, May, and Kellen, and only one of those people are still alive. Like literally only Kellen. Obviously he's got his siblings down like Charles, Bellatrix, Diana, and all that, but like the rest of the OGs are gone. This is a new chapter. We're saying our good, I mean, we kind of already said our goodbyes with like the funeral and stuff, but oh my God, this is gonna lead to a new chapter of the Royal Family series. There will be some changes too in the new season. I'm gonna be changing some surnames, maybe even changing some kingdom names. So just a heads up, if you don't like change, um, there's your warning that it's happening. So it's just so you can prepare yourselves. Okay, and also really quick, I feel like this is the time to do, let me let me have them, like just because we're in this room, this is reminding me from two episodes ago. Uh, oh, also Caspian has been staying here. I mentioned in the last time we were here that Caspian um, Jabari was going to ask him if he wants to say so he's been finishing his classes online going in if he needs to but he has been staying here and been fully supporting alice may this change and what she's going through she's feeling very tense right now she is stressed she's been putting up a lot of hours at work she's just i think she's just very nervous why is it taking so long that's hilarious i think she's just really nervous you know we we got to see the letter that Amira wrote for her. I imagine Amira wrote her a letter every, uh, maybe like every year or so, or anything, something big happened. She wanted it like just in case, you know? So the last time she wrote a letter was on Alice May's birthday. That was after the accident, after Alice May had started like her own foundation, like a lot of changes, a lot of growth Alice May had gone through. She knew she probably wouldn't be there. So she wanted something, some words of encouragement, anything for her. So let me have Caspian. I'm gonna have, oh, he's in his workout outfit. He's should be at his oh he's working out right now okay deep personal conversation okay i really i'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible and i really hate that i have to do this at all um but i did mention in the last episode that there were some comments that i wanted to address i also really appreciate how respectful everyone was about my um conversation in the last episode like with sahar and everything y'all were super respectful super understanding uh, some people apologized which really wasn't necessary i mean you guys didn't know um which is why i wanted ah so cute um but which is why i wanted to address it so this one i don't know how well this one is going to go but this is something that I've seen happen a lot and um, in the last episode it did again raise some questionable comments to appear in that video or not in the last episode the one before that so um, what triggered this was the thing with Peter, um, Mr. Whittaker, and Alice May throwing the drink in his face. And this has happened before with the whole like Alice May slapping Kaleo thing. Uh, I do want to say like in general, violence is, I, I don't think is the answer, but it does happen. It just does. So the people who were fully supporting Amira slapping Azara and like uh, Minerva getting in a fight with Ember and punching Ember who were all for fully supporting it. And then those same exact people shamed Alice May for slapping Kaleo and for throwing the drink at Peter. It's, it's giving villainizing the woman sexism sort of vibes, I guess is the best way to put it. So I, I just, if, if you're doing that, I just want you to be aware of that because you might not be. If you're just not for violence, that's fine, I, I get it. But it's the people who are supporting the ones that are all women and not supporting the woman against the one with the man. Also, a lot of people were saying that like Zamora just shouldn't have been in that meeting in the first place. It really was supposed to be just introductions. I threw Peter in there so last minute. We talked about him on my stream. He came up like a week before and I was like, I'm just gonna add him. It really was kind of a for fun thing, but some people didn't like that. It, I guess that he seemed so flat. Just so you know, it, it wasn't really thought out. It was impulse and it was improv and I kind of think that's fun in this series. I like things to be improvised sometimes. Obviously we have 
are no Casmin, you're not a snob. But then another thing is if you're shaming Alice Bay because you just don't like her. Listen, there's people in the past who've just said, you know, I didn't like Alice May at first. I thought she was just kind of like a Mary Sue, and but then I realized she was more than that, and I was like, oh great. And then the yeah, someone else who was like, Alice May just frustrates me. Like I just don't understand the way she thinks. Um, and like why she does some things, but you know, that's just me. And I'm like, that's fine. That's okay. You, I mean, we're, we're not all the same. We're all gonna think differently. And sometimes we might get frustrated with people who don't, that's fine. And then there's people who absolutely hate Alice Bay. And if she does something, one mistake, they're like, oh my God, did you see that? Like that was, that was horrible. I told you like she wasn't a good person. She made a mistake, how dare she? Or like she makes out very passionately with her boyfriend in the alley of a year and people are like that's horrible why would she do that y'all please she's a teen she was a teenager i mean she's still pretty young she was a teenager and i i say this very passionately because i see this a lot in real life so i'm, I'm gonna wrap this up because i really want to make this short and i hope this is coming off the right way but i've already talked about the victim blaming thing that is not something i'll bring into this conversation because we already had a whole conversation about it um and i'll link it if you missed it in the description description below, but the people who don't like Alice May or characters or people who are emotional, who care a lot, who are sensitive or are just like genuinely good people, if you're looking for mistakes for them to make for any excuse, for like a drop in their facial expression, anything for that for it to prove or like satisfy your thoughts that you think they're actually a bad person that is a I, I, I'm so, I know this is blunt, I just, I think people need to hear this. That is just a huge red flag for me. If I see someone doing that in real life, you know, I think you have things you need to work on. I hope I've made it clear by now that I'm I'm open to talking about things to you guys. Like, I, I love having deep conversations about this stuff. And if I'm, you know, doing something wrong or, or I need more information about something and you guys are like, tell me that, I, I'm open to that. But this is something that I have very strong opinions on. People attacking someone for just being a good person. Just let them live. Just let them do their thing. Okay, Cedric is here. Cedric has been out of school for a long time. While I do the break between seasons, I'm going to kind of alternate between the Royal Regency series and the Academic Adventure series because there's such a big time skip in the, like from now into the next season. Cedric's going to be a young adult by then. Um, so if you want to see his teenage years, the academic adventure series is where you're gonna see that and then that'll follow like William and stuff during that So yeah, and Zamora's now back at home. She's been here for a while, but you know, she's got grandkids She wants to hang out with um, so now I think we've we've done what we need to do It is time for Alice May's coronation ceremony. Okay, so we are now about to have Alice May's coronation ceremony Hey guys look I built a cathedral. I tried so hard not to use CC and then I I wanted the this is uh, inspired by the Salisbury Cathedral um, and I wanted those tower effects and I just couldn't do it with the roofing and I thought I don't know if they look out of place but I was just like you know what I, I, I need to use CC and then I got a little carried away and started using more CC inside but that's not important I wish I had built this a long time ago because I love the idea of like this having history and this being where Amira was coronated where Henry was coronated where George was coronated where like every Everyone was coordinated before her, but we didn't have it prior to this. So maybe we can pretend or do we want to say it's a new cathedral? I don't know. Let me know in the comments um, because I kind of like the idea of Alice Bay and Caspian, uh, you know, having their wedding here when they're ready. So I imagine there's less people at the court. Bellatrix, your hair. Oh my God, Aurora, your clothes, please. All right, so I do imagine there's going to be less people at the coronation, at the actual coronation than there is at the ball like that we see now however 
when we have the coronation ceremony, it's going to be, I'll, I'll just like leave you guys to watch it. It'll be like a little show, like a little machinima that'll be pretty short. But when you guys see it, all of these chairs are going to be filled. So in hindsight, there are a lot of people going, like not just those chairs, but these chairs too. All of it is going to be filled. This is the inside, by the way. So uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot going on here. Um, this is where she's gonna walk down. And then she's currently in this little side room here. Um, she is prepping herself. She's got Benji to help her emotionally with, with you know, calming herself down and all that. I have her, uh, they steeped some chamomile tea for her. Poor tea. So she's going to have some tea. I love this. I love the tea set. Honestly, it's like one of my favorite items I think that we got. The wedding pack, I know it's bugged as hell, but it's such a good pack, y'all. I, I, the stuff that came with it is my favorite. Also, Zamora, I'm not technically- uh. Oh, oh my god, I don't know why that scared me. I thought Zamora was calling- Or I thought Ava- Oh, I missed the call! I'm sorry, Ava! I thought Ava was calling Leilana, and I was like, wait a second! <laughs> Hold up a minute! That would have been so- Just look at- Just- I don't know, this is just very piz picturesque. Alice May trying to- Oh, that's very heavy on the MXAO. Okay, yeah, Alice May just, like, trying to calm down and enjoy, uh- cup of tea before her coronation while all the guests are arriving. It's very picturesque. Benji's like here to help her calm down. I've got, I'm sure she's looking at this, but a portrait of Amira and Jabari in here too. She's just trying to chill out before the coronation starts. And I guess we might, oh my God, Jabari, what? Ha what? What? Oh my god, did y'all see his legs missing for a hot second? That was terrifying. All right, so yeah, like we got Jessica here. We got a lot of people here. Also, I love the fact, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I gave Johan this facial hair as a joke. I thought it'd be funny. And I was like, let's just keep it on for a few episodes. But now we've, the stream has told me they think we should just keep it on forever. So now the joke has gone so far that it's the real thing. So that's happening. Makai, hi, how are you doing? You're here? to support Alice May too. Caspian is chatting with all of them. I feel like he's very much like included in the family. Like, look at this. It is the royal family. They're the royal family members. I mean, not except for Makai, um, but like Diana, Kellen, Bellatrix, we got William. Where's, are we missing any? Oh, Charles, Charles should be here too. But like, we just got the fam and Caspian chilling with them because he's like very much part of the family now. And someone left their homework. I don't know who that is. That might be Caspian. And he's feeling very playful. Oh my God, Johan's asleep on the bench. Okay, all right. I think we need to get this party started. So I'm gonna leave you guys to watch Alice May's coronation ceremony. It'll be a very grand event. And then after that, I'll see you at the Henford Palace for the Coronation Ball.
we are now at the coronation ball for Alice May. But few hours have passed by, so the guests could travel from the cathedral to the Henford Palace. Um, and we're now having the ball. I have put Alice May, I have put her in the legacy dress. I put so many of the queens of Wittenberg in this dress, so now it's Alice May's turn to wear it. I figured this would be a good one for her coronation ball. With the coronation dress that she wore, I didn't want it to look too much like a wedding dress. Um, it is by Sims Regalia. It's beautiful. They have gorgeous stuff. Um, so, oh my god, look at the Wow. Whoa. Wow, this is just blessing us on the night of her coronation. Um, I just have the ballroom lot, uh, which I think I've showed you guys in the past just because I invited 70 sims and I knew things would lag if I had the entire lot here. So I did not put the whole lot. Uh, every single time, I don't know if all 70 guests are going to show up. So if you don't see someone, they were probably invited, but maybe we should serve some food. The guests are trickling in. I'm waiting for some more to arrive because there are some things we need to do. Let's go ahead and call. We need like a centerpiece. Fill fountain. Wait, why can't we do sparkling apple? Oh, you need a mixology. You can't fill it with cheese. What? All right, let's do fruit punch. Um, although we could have done chocolate. I was very like chocolate. Okay, let's call people to the meal so we can see everyone. Oh, they're all, cr whoa. Zamora, I, I love the thumbs up next to Zamora's name. They're like, yeah. Okay, also, I will link these streams down below, but Umar and Minerva, Gabriel's little sister, who should be here, also ignore Juliet's crown. I don't know why he's doing that. Um, but they got married. Married. They got engaged, which happened right before Amira's death. So I'm, I think I forgot to mention it. And then they got married in our last stream. So I did a stream where we were like dressing them for it. And then a stream where they got married and where they went on their honeymoon. They went to Mount Como Rebbe. It was very peaceful and serene. I was like so jealous. So yeah, Minerva should be here soon. Uh, they're finishing up school. Probably gonna wait a while, maybe next season. Or maybe they'll have a kid by next season. I don't know, a lot could happen in six years. So um, they're, they're gonna wait a couple years though to have kids. Um, and hopefully Minerva shows up here soon too. Now there is something I want to do that I forgot to do two episodes ago. Is everyone like, uh, oh please, we need more people to trickle in, come on. Is that all that'll fit on the lot or something? Maybe that's it. We need Alice May's friends here. I don't see any of her friends. Where is Frederick? Where's Molly Grace? Where's Jessica? Where's Nani? Where's Where's William? Do I have like a sim lot like Max or something on? I saw something for like random spawning. If I leave and come back, cause it says a game restart was required. If I leave and come back, will it make, okay. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out. Cause I, it's the finale, everyone has to be here. All right, y'all, I, I restarted. I thought I figured it out, but no extra people are showing up even though I am like actually having them call the people that I want here and invite them to hang out. And I don't see anybody spotting since I've done that and they've been doing that for a while now. I I'll, I'll just teleport the people here that I had like plans to discuss and have them do some things. But there was something on here. So MC command center and then I went to population and other settings and then maximum sims and zone. I set it to 90 It said I had a restart and I did. Uh, yeah, anyway, hopefully I'll figure this out in the future if anyone knows what's going on definitely let me know oh my god jabari's bottom keeps missing what the heck we need your legs they must appear man i invited i might have both nia and maleko i thought they'd both want to be here to support caspian and alice may or i guess alice may i do need i need nia here okay so two episodes ago i wanted to do this so anthony i will post i will re we put this story post in the description. Um, it was when Caspian was healing, but it, like, you know, it was hinted that 
Finn slash Anthony, Alice's bodyguard, was super interested in Nia, had a crush on her. I imagine he's asked her out in the past. I think I have mentioned this. He's asked her out in the past and she didn't want to date anyone while Caspian was living at home. She didn't want to date anyone until he went to college because she wanted to spend as much time with her son as she could before he left. But now that that's not the case anymore. Oh my God, he's suddenly very flirty and Caspian is standing right here. Caspian, you might want to give him some privacy. I think Caspian knows that Finn has a little bit of a crush on his mother. Um, He's feeling very flirty right now. All right, there's like a little bit of romantic relationship because they're interested in each other, especially him with Nia. So that Caspian's been at school for a while. There was a lot that happened. I'm gonna have him flirt a little bit. And then we're gonna have him, I guess we can't have them ask out on a date unless we like leave and go somewhere. But I'm gonna have him confess attraction and just tell her like, listen, I still really like you. Um, I know you weren't interested in dating before. I know you wanted to wait till Caspian went to school. I told you I would wait for you. Will you go on a date with me? And I can't even do that because it's another social event. Caspian, stop spying on your mother. Go with your girlfriend. Oh, I didn't have her go to Benji. Look at this. Why is this so cute? He's she's, she's, she's taking out with Benji. Oh my God. Okay. All right, Alice May. For some reason, I can't use the stairs. All right, Alice May, come enjoy your coronation ball. Why don't you have a dance with Caspian? Can you slow dance with him? All right, Caspian and Alice May are slow dancing. At, oh, what? That's not slow dancing. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're having a dance at their... Oh, wait. Okay, well, so what if Finn asked Nia to dance that since we can't go on a date? But I, I, he, I imagine he asked her on a date as if she wants to... If now she's ready to go on a date. And she says yes. So they will go on a date. It'll be during the time skip. So we'll have to hear about what happens afterward. Yay, they're dancing. Cute. Oh, now Caspian is just jamming out here. Okay. Okay, next. I, I've teleported Graham and Molly Grace here because they would absolutely be here along with all the other friends. I also invited Kanda because Alice made Kanda become friends. So listen, they've been on a break. You know, we, we saw it at Alice May's birthday party. Maybe y'all should have a private conversation though. Let's go out here. All right, so Cas, not Caspian, <laughs> Graham and, ah! Yeah, Molly girl. Okay, I can't take her seriously if she's doing that. Hold on. Okay, all right. This is better. <laughs> the separation thing. I think Graham seriously misses Molly Grace. And Molly Grace was not doing well with that breakup. It has been a while. It's been several months. I feel like they've been talking almost every day still. While Molly Grace has been at school, it has been, like she wanted to take a break because she didn't want that expectation of like they're dating and he couldn't be there because like she's busy all the time and he's at school. So she just didn't want to like expect him to be there, but he has been there. They've both been there for each other. They've been talking almost every single day, anytime they could. So now they're seeing each other again. And I feel like Graham's just gonna be like, listen, I want to be with you. This has been killing me not technically being together and I understand why you did it, but this, like, I want to be with you. I'm gonna apologize for past mistakes. What else can we do here? Separation, promise, promise things will change. Attempt peaceful discussion and interest. Gauge common level of reconcile. Okay, so let's um let's say promise so like things will change. But he's like, I'm gonna find ways to like visit you more. We will make this work. I'm going to talk to you whenever I get the chance to. Wonder what went wrong, you know. Reminisce about past times. So they're reconciling and they've of course been talking. They've been apart, like not if we had it so good, then why couldn't we now? Perhaps we could find our way back to each other. Okay, so Molly Grace is super into this too. She wants to get back together too. Say something nice about Molly Grace. So let's see what, like we need to gauge the level of reconcile we're on, right? Gauge common level of reconcile. 20%, all right, we, let, we, we still gotta get this working. Let's flirt a little bit. Flirt, oh my God, propose, y'all.
Okay, express fondness. Uh, mm, I'm thinking about it. If they did, I think it should be a long engagement. They're like 19. 19, 20. They're young and they're still finishing school. Oh my god, they're just staring at each other. Literally just staring. Reminisce about past times again. Okay, we're getting there. Those memories, they're dear to me too. If only we could make more of the same ones together. Y'all, they are both all for this snuggle maybe kiss her hold on hold on maybe not no 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 no. not yet not yet all right the level of common reconciliation and readiness is 60 percent i think we're getting there also i realized that he had the non-committal trait which i think happened randomly when he aged up and i don't think that fits him so i changed it i, I deleted it i was like no that doesn't make sense oh cedric and alice may are having a heart to heart um okay so i i I think we're gonna say separation offer to give the relationship another try what does she say about that uh what ah! Ah! what is happening what is happening we have a true bond with effort and awareness we can fix things let's try again okay great but i just heard some dramatic sound is he Oh, oh my god, I thought he was gonna propose. Wait, Princess Molly, Grace, and Graham are finally back together, yay! Okay, okay, but I know this is crazy, this is wild, but it's the finale, let's do it. I'm gonna have him propose. It's gonna be like, this is going to be a long engagement, this is wild, but I've been saving this ring for you in my pocket? <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, oh my god, she's saying yes, y'all. Y'all! Ah! Oh my god, they're engaged! Oh my god, I was not expecting that! Oh, okay, here's the thing. Oh, she's so happy. Here's the thing, though. I think she's like, okay, but this is supposed. This is Alice Bay's coronation day. Like we, we, we can't. We can't. This is supposed to be her day. I want our own day of an anniversary to get engaged. So she's like, so let's. Well, wait. It's 2 a.m. It's the day after her coronation. So maybe I can't. it's the next day. It's not the day of Alice May's coronation. So they have their own engagement anniversary date. But maybe she's going to wait to tell them tomorrow. Although I don't know if she could wait that long. But she'll wait to tell them till tomorrow. But yeah, I just feel like Graham is like, I want you to know how all in I am for you. Like, I am so head over heels for you. And this time apart has just like confirmed that. I don't want to be without you. I know we're still at school. But like... Like, I want you to know that this is why I'm proposing to you that I am all in and even if we are apart I want to be with you so we're gonna make it work and this is my promise to you so it's gonna be a long engagement because I want their wedding to be in season three so that means that they're gonna have at least a six-year engagement <laughs> so they'll be like 26 by the time they get married I mean that's later than like uh Aria Gabriel corn farm all of them they got married between like 21 to 24 pretty much oh my god Leilana's petting Benji I never imagined her to be much of a pet person okay now next conversation Conversation. We're just kind of going down the line here. And then D, oh, okay. So if you watch the stream with Minerva at Umar's wedding, you'll see that Dean and Leilana are like pretty much good now. They did something there uh, and Kaleo walked in on them. So again, watch the stream if you want to see that. But this has raised some questions. She's asking herself and she wants to ask Makana. Makana, where are you? I definitely saw you here. Okay, honestly, y'all, I'm kind of debating teleporting Nani and Malia here so they can also get engaged. <laughs> that, that's too much at once, right? Well, the, I honestly don't think they're in a rush. I want them here though. Like Frederick and Jessica, none of them are here. Frederick and Jessica are waiting. They're not in a rush either. So everyone else is waiting like six years. So yeah, that's fine. They can wait. That'll be fine. Okay, anyway. Okay, so this whole thing has got Leilana thinking. Makata's now in, in full focus. He's like, uh, yes, this must be pretty serious. Um, discuss interest. I feel like this whole thing with Amira and all that has got Leilana thinking and just being like, oh, I don't, she's like, I don't want to have to wait until I die. Not that Sulati women die anytime soon because clearly they live for freaking ever. But let me see, deep thoughts, deep conversation. Did he just like enthuse about video games? And she was like, nah, I, felt, I thought they, I saw that. Oh, give family advice. Give family advice. Okay. 
All right, so she's saying this and she's like, she wants to enjoy more time with her family. Dude, does she like jokes? I don't know, she doesn't really seem like, I would say no, she doesn't really seem like it. Um, but she's like, I just, I wanna, you know, be able to spend time with my family, be able to spend time with my grandkids. I wanna be there for my kids. I wanna be there for Makana when he becomes king. Like there's so much she's going to need to know. And I think she's just tired at this point, you know. She's had to deal with a lot. It's tiring, I'm sure. So she's asking him though, cause I don't think she wants to like, she knows how hard it is to be monarch. She doesn't want to push this on Makana right away. She doesn't want it to happen like while he's raising his kids. Cause she thinks now she realizes how important it is to be there for her children. She doesn't want what happened with Kaleo to happen to Makana. Ask my love life. Be like, are you and Kimmy okay? Makana, where are you going? Your mother's asking you about your love life. <laughs> so yeah, I think she's just telling him like, listen, I've been thinking of these things, you know, this like watching. Alice coronation and, and what happened with Amira, like it's, I, I've been thinking about this for a while, but I wanna make sure this is okay with you. They're hugging. I wanna make sure this is okay with you and that you're on board, cause I don't wanna just throw this on you, but just like, if I were to abdicate and retire, or if I were to, I don't know, is it just retiring or is it abdicating? But she's like, if I were to retire in like six, seven, everything's happening in six years. Um, if I were to retire in like six years, how would you feel about that? Like, is that, you know, your kids right now are, are like three, four. I don't think they're having any more kids. Uh, so she's like, is that okay with you? Okay, well, they're leaving. <laughs> I'm trying to have a serious conversation. But like, would that be okay with you? And I think Makana is like, I, I think I need to think about it. And I need to talk to Kimmy about this. Obviously, like if she were to pass away, it would happen anyway. Who is that? Oh my God, that's Kanda. I didn't recognize her at all. She looks beautiful. Oh, wow, she's just now showing up? Dang, it's four in the morning. Girl was at a party before. I thought that was Elena for a second. I don't know why. Okay, but yeah, so they've, you know, oh, Charles, hi. But he's like, I, I need to talk to Kimmy. Obviously, again, if Lilana were to pass away, like it would happen anyway. But the fact that she's like giving him a choice and he's like, this is, I mean, nice. Like six seven years that's a good amount of time to like be able to focus on my kids and stuff and be there for their childhood but yeah so there they had this conversation i think makan is kind of like all for it you know he knows how much his mother has had to go through and um if she is ready to give up the throne for him then he's kind of all for that and this will be their first time that this happens all right alice may's talking to kanda she's like you here <laughs> she's like so excited Candace here oh is adric here too now are people literally just now showing up because i'm pretty sure adric didn't like apparently wasn't one of the ones who spawned in not apparently william either we'll see more of william he gets his own mini series with cedric yeah adric is here that's awesome okay all right so our last order of business of the season ironically this has just come up zayori and araminta i'm gonna confirm the difficult dynamic as we've seen i feel like it got a little bit more difficult zayori is here at the ball and araminta has had to take her outside and they're having another one of their arguments they're just not agreeing at all they have completely different point of views and while this is happening someone might be lurking in the shadows and seeing this so we're gonna end this here if you want to see what happens next make sure to watch the season three teaser that will be posted about a week after this video as soon as it comes out i will make sure to link it in the description below so you can see it directly we had a lot happen we had a proposal alice Mays the queen in season three early on we might get a sulani coronation with that I think it's time to bring season two to a close. It has been a insane adventure, a wild ride. Oh, I feel like I'm like saying goodbye to a child and this feels like a huge achievement too. So thank you again. Okay, I'm getting emotional now. Um, I will see you guys in season three. Bye.